Thomas Espinal. I'm a Norwegian writer. So my work is to write books. Or my work is to sit. Most of the time, I sit. That's what I do. Sometimes I, 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 I can sit for two months. Sometimes I can sit for two years. It can take two years to write one single book. So I'm, that's my job really, to, to sit on a chair. And I always start my working process with creating a table, because that's very important for me. I need a good table. If I'm supposed to sit for two years at a chair, I need a good table. So my, my writing table is three meters long. And it's placed in front of a window. And I have an ashtray. No, I have two ashtrays on the table. And then I have photographs. And I have letters. And I have lamps. I love lamps. So everything that I really like, I have at this table. And now I live in a house outside the city, very isolated. It's an old house and there is no cafes or cafeteria, so I don't even have a television. So, so I was very, very, very excited. What should I write about in this house where nothing happens and where I live very isolated? I had written ten books. One book about walking, which I will speak a bit about later, but now I was just in this house. So each day, I did as I normally do, I just sat down at the table at the regular, and I, I watched out the window and, and waited. But I was very disturbed, there were two birds building a nest. Because just outside the window there is an apple tree, a really beautiful apple tree. But I saw there were two birds starting building their nest in the tree. And you know, I don't know the, the, the English word for those birds, but they make this sound. All the time. And I thought, oh my God. If, if they build this nest in the tree, I won't be able to, to write for, for a long period. But I had read uh, Franz of Assisi. And you know, he, he at one point he puts a speech for, for the birds. He, he leaves the cluster, the monastery, and, and he goes to the birds and says, Ah, you, you sing beautifully. But remember, it's God who gave you the gift of, of singing. And then he leaves. So I thought, okay, I, I have to go out and tell the birds that they should build their, their nest somewhere else. And I, I really did. I, I went out and I said, Look, uh, I'm a writer. I, I write inside here. I have a cat, and, and they were they were teasing the cat all day. Chee, 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 chee. So you have to you have to move. You have to build your house somewhere else. But they, they didn't. They they just continued building. So I did something very very uh, cruel. But later on in the story, you can see it was not so cruel after all. But at, at first. It might seem cool because I climbed up in the tree and I detached every single branch from the nest. <laughs> I, took it, I took it down. And in, inside, I don't know if you have seen a bird's nest, but inside there is grass, which they have picked from the ground, and then there is earth that they have taken in between the grass. And then they collect water and they put the earth together with the grass. It's beautiful built. I mean, it's, it's one of the most beautiful things I ever saw. But I had to take it down, but I, I put it on the ground, just like Ikea, you can, you can take the pieces and put them up, <laughs> up again. <laughs> so, but uh, I, I put it on the ground, but they didn't use the materials, they built a completely new nest, as I wanted, in, in a tree further away. They moved in, they were in love, it was a couple, and you know, they had the, the eggs. And one day I saw a big bird, I, it's called Hauk in Norwegian. It took, flew into the tree, took down the nest, cracked the egg, ate the children, and flew away. 
<laughs> so, so nature, I, I was not brutal at all. I, I had given them a warning, but you know, nature in itself, it's brutal. Poof, puff, chuff, eat no way. Un coup de dé, jamais, Nabolera, Yasa, par Stéphane Malamou. Un coup de dé. Un coup de dé. Combien même lancé dans des circonstances Éternelle. 